Alright, what is going on guys? Drew here from TechCubed, and in this video, I am going to be showing you how to use the accelerometer and similar sensors in Android. So the first thing you want to do is open up a new project in Android Studio. And the first thing we want to do is create a couple text views to display the data that we're going to get from the sensors. So I'm just going to do a plain text view, nothing fancy, just throw it in the center, as well as two others beneath it. So now next, I'm going to be changing the IDs to something a little bit similar. So if we go into the XML and change text view to text view X for the X axis, text view 2 to Y, text view 3 to Z. And then also you want to make sure that we fix our layout belows. So uh, the second text view is right beneath the first one, text view X, and the third one is right beneath the second one, which is text view Y. Now that those are fixed, we could go and double check, make sure everything's still there. All right. Now we can go into our Java and actually begin making the sensor. So the first thing we need to do is create two variables. A, the first one being a private variable of sensor manager type. And I'm just going to call it sensor manager. All right. And next, another private variable called sensor. So now this would be whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to be making an accelerometer, so I'm going to call it ACC. All right. All right, once you have those two done, we want to implement a sensor event listener. Okay, so now it's going to give you an error for now because we haven't uh, actually implemented any of the two methods that we need yet, uh, which we can go and do first. The first one, we need at override, like most methods. And then we need to type public void. The first one is on sensor changed and we want to put in a sensor event and call it sensor event and now in the method uh, we don't actually need anything but this is where a majority of our code will be in a minute so next to get rid of our error here let's type at override once again and then public void this one is called on accuracy changed and that's it for that uh, we need to put in a sensor just call it sensor and an integer called accuracy so now I'm not going to be using this here what it allows you to do is change the accuracy the timing uh, and some more fine-tuning of the accelerometer or whatever sensor you need uh, but we don't actually need that for this video all right, now we want to actually use our sensor manager and accelerometer. So in our onCreate, let's type sensor manager and set it equal to casting a sensor manager. And then type get system service and put in some context dot sensor service. Okay, that initializes our sensor manager. And next, we want to initialize our accelerometer. And to initialize it, we set it equal to our sensor manager that we just created, dot get default sensor. And now whatever type of sensor you want is what goes in here. And I want sensor dot type accelerometer. And now you can see there's a whole bunch of other options. Um, there actually is two accelerometer ones. So if we type accelerometer, yes, we have accelerometer and type linear acceleration. So linear acceleration is going to cancel out gravity and just give you zero, zero, zero if you're not moving the phone. Accelerometer, which is what we're going to use, will actually use gravity. So no matter what, if you're not moving, it's going to have a 9.81 uh, value. Okay, and next we want sensor manager dot register listener and this for the context, then our sensor accelerometer and finally, sensor manager and sensor delay normal. Uh, you can actually change this to, for instance, a faster game UI. Uh, normal is just what we're going to use here. Uh, and you notice that each one has different speeds. This one's a relatively manageable speed. It doesn't need to be super fast for a game, for instance. Okay, now that that's going, what's going to happen is every time something happens to the accelerometer, uh, at a certain time delay, which is the normal amount, uh, this on sensor change will 
activate will fire. So what we want to do is create a sensor in here, a sensor called my sensor, and set it equal to the sensor event dot sensor. So now whatever the event was that happened, we will now have it in my sensor. And we want to check to make sure that this is the accelerometer, not the gyroscope or anything else that we need. So we type my sensor dot get type and check that the type is equal to sensor dot type accelerometer. And now if you're using gyroscope, you do type accelerometer or type linear acceleration, whatever else you'd like. Okay. And now what happens in this if statement is basically whatever we need it for. If we're trying to use a shake activation or want to use rotation or check any of the values or just print them out, this is where we're going to do it. So the first thing we need to do, grab our three text views from the XML file. So what we want to do in main activity is create a few more private variables of type text view, and we can call it label X, label Y, and finally label Z. And we need to now initialize these. So I'm going to go to uncreate and do it first above our sensor managers. It doesn't really matter. We could do label X and, and cast that equal to a text view. And then do find view by ID, r dot, i dot, and well, we had text view x. And now what you could do is hit control D two times and it'll copy this over. We change text view x to text view y and z as well as. Oh, it looks like I spelled label wrong there. Okay, now that works. And then change this to y and change this to z. Now that we have those, we can access them in here. So we will set label x dot set text. So now when we grab our sensor data, it's going to give us uh, an array. And in the array, you have the first index being x, second being y, and third being z. And when we get those, they're going to be in type float. And we can't print float from text. So before we do that, we'll do string dot value of whatever the value we're going to get. And to do that, we do sensor event dot values. And now, as I said, this was an array. So we want the first index for x. And so now, once again, we could do control D twice to print out y and z. And make sure to change the values from 0 to 1 and 0 to 2. Now, that's actually all we need for this which is really nice because it's super simple. If you wanted to add another sensor, you would obviously add a different, you actually can use the same sensor manager. You just need a new sensor variable. And when you do that, you would have if sensor type accelerometer, you'd add another if statement beneath that of the new type you want. But for now, let's go and run this. Okay, now it's ready to show. And when you open it up, you're gonna see three values, x being zero, y being 9.7, and 0 0.8 for z. So now, as you imagine, this isn't my phone, this is my laptop. There is no accelerometer on it. So these values are just temporary values that Android puts in. When you go and put it into your phone uh, by transferring the APK over, you will be able to see the numbers change as you move the device around and uh, shake it around, uh, which is really cool. It'll be at a decent pace because we set it normal. You can make it faster if you want or slower as well. So one thing to note, if you were to take the magnitude of all three of these, using the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared, just a little bit of algebra, it will equal to 9.81 if the device isn't moving. So anything extra is how fast the device is moving. So if you want to use shake data or something, you will want to use the square root and then subtract 9.8 or find some other similar algorithms online. All right? So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just ask me down below. I'll make sure to check that as often as I can. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time.